overall thoughts on practice today? I, I thought I thought there was a lot of give and take. It went back and forth. I thought we were streaky, but I thought that uh, you know both sides were competitive. Uh, a lot of people overrunning uh, position, offense and defense. I thought, uh, but it was competitive. We had good energy. How do you feel like the team is transitioning with all the coaching changes? Uh, good. Is this the the most coaching changes you've had in a single season? And just what are some obstacles that usually go along the way with those? Uh, I don't know if it's the most. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of guys elevate uh, throughout their careers and stuff like that. And a bunch of them out there are head coaches now. But, uh, um, uh, yeah, you know, just getting used to one another. But I think we're well on our way to that. I haven't really noticed uh, anything big transition-wise. Philosophies have stayed uh, pretty similar. So. Hard play has been on the offensive line now after six practices. I, I think it's okay. I mean, we're, it's a work in progress. It's like all the rest of the O line positions. I, uh, uh, I don't really have them per se uh, behind uh, overall behind anybody else. And then plus we'll shuffle them around whoever plays the best, and then you know we'll get the best five out there. But uh, we've got more depth than we've had, but. Uh, uh, you know, we've got to fortify our first level. You have to replace two guards this season. Is it, is it tougher replacing a guard, a guard on the offensive line or, or a tackle in your in your history? Uh, well, you put the best old lineman out there. I think it's hard to replace a tackle. You mentioned you, similar philosophies uh, with the coaching changes. Any differences between Coach Clays and Coach Crunch? Uh, a little, subtle ones. Uh, uh, you know, ones that you probably wouldn't notice. We're, we still shift the front. Um, uh, we still shift the front. We leverage the, the secondary a little bit differently. Um, you know, subtle changes, but I, uh, nothing very dramatic. Uh, they had a similar philosophy to begin with, and Clay's, of course, has had his for decades. So, At this point in spring ball, what have you seen from Cam Cooper? Sorry. Uh, I, I think he does a good job. I think he's got a lot on him right now, which I think he's responding to well. He throws the ball really good. Uh, I thought he had a real good scale period. I thought he was spottier in team, but um, you know, overall, I think he's performed pretty well, uh, and right there with the rest of them. So he's got two more experienced guys, but he's you know he's right there with them and throws the ball as good as any of them. So you said a lot on him. Is that expectations, or what do you mean? No, a lot just he, he's got. He has to learn a whole package that they've had a couple of years to learn. Coach, you talked a little bit about Tinsley and also about Cooper, but uh, can you talk a little bit about Anthony Gordon and kind of what he offers? Uh, Quick-footed, quick-footed, uh, does a good job of seeing a lot of the field. Um, you know, the ball comes off his hand pretty quick, and, uh, you know, so I, I think he's doing a good job out there too. What has been your first impressions of Tracy Clays, and is it nice having a defense coordinator who has been a head coach and especially a head coach at – a major university in the Power Five. Uh, I think all that helps. Every bit of experience helps. I think uh, the biggest thing is he's got a package that he's worked on. He's tweaked for a long time, and uh, you know, kind of knows all the steps uh, that he needs to get accomplished and how to adjust it uh, around what he does. And you know, I think uh, you know he's more settled on his philosophy and his thoughts. And um, so I, you know, I think it's a little less experimental, which I think is beneficial. Also, just I want to get your thoughts on spring ball as a whole and from a fan's perspective. Do you think that fans maybe put a little too much weight in spring ball? And as a coach, what are the emphasis or what do you emphasize when you're teaching your players and what are the takeaways during spring ball? Uh, I don't know what fans put on spring ball. I can only guess, and I'm sure that varies dramatically. Um, as far as us, we put a huge emphasis on spring ball. Uh, we watch film and meet on it incessantly uh, to continue to uh, develop our players and give them the tools they need to continue to de develop between now and camp. Six practices, early enrollees, what have they done to elevate themselves or what do they need to continue to do? To well, the biggest thing I think they've done is uh, learn, uh, you know, learn the, the, a lot of the aspects of their role so they can continue to develop it. Uh, I think uh, the, they're talented guys and I think uh, most of them are, you know, make more of an impact uh, the longer they're in what we ask them to do. 
how nice is it to have Peyton back for a sixth year, and what does he bring to the table as far as a player? He's always been a very smart, instinctual player, uh, leads by example, and I think does a good job holding that defensive group together and also, you know, uh, does a good job as far as adjusting and making calls out there. Uh, will you be attending the mom's coaching clinic on Friday? And what have your experience been like in the past? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, it's, it's always been a, a great gathering of, uh, of Coug fans and moms. Uh, shoot, we get more every year. Uh, I forget how many. A couple hundred, I'm going to say. Maybe more. Um, but, yeah, they have a big time out here. And uh, uh, the big, I guess the thing that's, uh, that they like the best is they get to know a lot of our players because our players come out and help out with it. Who has better energy, the Coug moms or your players on the first day of spring? Uh, the moms are pretty energetic the whole time, i got to say. Um, so we tour them around, try to show them the, the building and all aspects of the drills, offense, defense, and then, uh, <clears throat> you know, the social scene amongst the moms once they get here is pretty unparalleled. So, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty exciting. And then, uh, you know, they... Uh, you know, so heck, they meet. Uh, you know, they get to, to meet their sons, meet their friends, and uh, and uh, you know, see the other guys on the team. And then, uh, uh, who knows? So, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty exciting. And then, uh, you know, you got they get to see how gigantic somebody really is, or wow, this guy's littler than I thought, and check it all out firsthand. But is it only players, moms? Or is it no, it's anybody. Any, it's a, basically a, any women that want to sign up or want to come. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you.